Hey, what's up guys, Mariah Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4, as we are playing as the Soviet Union. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into today's episode, uh, where we'll likely have to retreat again from all this area. Uh, we're going to try and hold on for as long as possible, but again, I think we're going to have to retreat to this mountain line here. Uh, that's the, the plan. Uh, so, we'll see what happens exactly over here. Uh, but again, you can see we're retreating from every location. Uh, this here was key. To holding on to this uh, because yeah, this area here you know has a two, two uh, forts here but here we do not and that's also flat ground so there's gonna be a push there and ignore the forts and uh, thus we might want to actually stop building those fortifications we'll, we'll see if we can get to here before I stop that because if we can hold on to that then it's fine uh, we do get the improved radar uh, which is really just gonna give us the radar station the higher coordination uh, those are the main benefits we're getting here we haven't built the radar stations uh, so we need to do that because uh, we now have up to level five here that we could be building and getting the benefits from We'll do that before we put our Air Force out or at least we'll try we'll see because uh, fortification is kind of key right now uh, We are close enough to 1942 that I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the advanced computing machine and get that 8% research speed uh, Over here we have a decision available two of them because I think we just finished up and we just finished up with that uh, the propaganda uh, so we have a couple options here. Uh, of course, we could do these two here. I don't think either of those are necessary. We don't really have fuel issues. Yeah, none of those are necessary. Uh, so the natural two choices would be to pick one of these two. A uh, victory is at hand, increasing division speed, reducing organization loss of moving, and increasing division attack. That'd be pretty helpful. Uh, however, we're not gonna be doing many attacks here in the winter. And so it might be better to do the motherland calls, which will increase our manpower, not something we need, but It'll decrease training time and decrease minimum training level, uh, resulting in us getting these divisions that we're training done quicker. That's what I'm thinking here. I think that would be really helpful. Uh, so we like what we will lose in this location. We're going to keep on trying to reinforce it, see if we can't hold on to it. Uh, this guy needs to be told to actually retreat here. Uh, they're attacking there, and surprisingly, they're winning. That's a problem. We need to go ahead and send some divisions over to them. Uh, this guy's coming over to this province while he's, again, they're just rotating divisions around at this point, as silly as that is. Uh, so let's go ahead and send some more mountain troops into that province. Make sure we don't lose there, because, yeah, this is not a key province, but we want to make them uh, fight us for every mountain province if we can. Uh, looks like we did get a unit here in time. Fantastic. I wasn't sure that we would, uh, but it looks like we did get somebody there in time. But can we hold on to it, I suppose, is the question. I don't know that we can. Now we have the forts building there, but remember the forts stop building and uh, the factories go to something else whenever you're being attacked. But yeah, I don't think we'll be able to hold on to this mountain province here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to take that from us. We're probably just going to have to completely retreat from here, is what I'm thinking. So let's take the yellow army, put them onto this front now, have them cover you know, what we currently have. And then uh, the red army that we currently have here, I feel like we're just going to have to retreat them completely. Even from this location here. Yeah, because if we lose that mountain province, then it's kind of irrelevant. So as of right now, this is where we'll have them. Uh, we'll go ahead and just retreat from this entire location, I'm thinking. In fact, we'll probably retreat from this province as well. Let's go ahead and retreat completely over to these areas here. So let's go ahead and keep that guy here. And then, yeah, this red army would be covering these three provinces. We do have to get rid of this yellow army one. And so, yeah, it looks like they'll be covering these three here if we can keep troops there, which that's a big if. Let's go ahead and stop them, get them moving over to these provinces. All right, so all of them have decided to go over all the way around here. Let's just stop that madness. We'll just kind of micromanage this and figure out how we want to do it ourselves. Have those two weak divisions come over there, all these guys come over to this province. Yeah, I don't think we'll hold on there, guys. I really don't think so. Uh, it's unfortunate but it does look to be the case that we'll likely lose this. I can send another blue army division over here, see if they'll get there in time. Uh, we got another red army division coming here, but I think reinforcement's gonna be the issue. They likely won't reinforce quick enough. Um, so we wanted to attack here. We're currently defending. Yeah, they're just attacking all across here. Now they are attacking in the snow, so this is gonna be more difficult for them. Uh, across the front. Yeah, they're attacking all across the front, and this is where I expect us to do massive casualties to the Germans, because it does look like the AI has not been programmed to recognize the winter, 
and they're going to continue their offensives all along here. And we've got snow, guys, so that's really going to help us. Uh, but over here, you'll notice that there is no winter, and so we won't have that benefit here. Uh, still winning across these fronts here. Let that guy uh, get his organization back up, except for we did lose this. Well, that's not good. When's he get there? Six hours? So we need to send divisions here to reinforce while attacking across. Yeah, I don't see how that's going to work out. We'll send another one here. Uh, and then send, like, I guess these two over here. So we just need to lock them down temporarily. I don't even know if that'll be enough divisions to lock them down. While we bring divisions down over here to help out. Okay, so having some difficulties across the front. Especially in areas where we just pulled out, pulled our, our Air Force back. We completely pulled them back. Uh, not able to win here despite defending across the river. That's surprising. Uh, we might need to throw one of these divisions over here to help, but I really want to attack right there. So I guess we'll send one just to make sure we don't lose there since that would be disastrous. Mongolian still attacking Danzig unsuccessfully. Yeah, we, we probably should send that division over there. We're attacking here in Lublin, uh, which is weakening them, but let's go ahead and throw our own attack into here now. So that these guys can then attack over there and take this province. So I know that we're attacking into a province in winter as well, but this one doesn't actually have the snow penalty just yet. So we're not getting any penalties for that. Uh, so we, we very well might lose this. Couple hours. Yeah, about 12 hours here and we'll get over there. We'll see if we're able to reinforce in time, but it does appear we're going to lose that location. Holding here where we have the forts. This province doesn't need to be defended anymore. But I guess we'll let him sit there. I was going to say get his organization up, but that's not going to work. Uh, we have a division attacking here. This is foolish. Let's stop all that. Uh, these guys should just go ahead and retreat, I think. Over to this location, because, yeah, they're in a position where they could get cut off here. Otherwise. So we'll let them retreat over to that location. Just give that province up. Uh, eventually, we're going to give all this up, though. Defending up along the mountains here, looking pretty good. So I'm mostly worried about this here. We did get one division over there to stop them. Excellent. Can we hold on to it? I don't actually know. We don't want to put the one who has entrenchment. It looks like neither of them have any entrenchment, so I suppose it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go and move him over here. And he can come over this way. Well, ah, we don't want to move the only division that's got any health over there. Looks like we are winning, just barely. So send another division, but this seems to be our weak point here. Also, we're losing here. Is there any way to hold on to that? Not really. Not that I'm seeing here, guys. We might be able to throw a division over there, but it looks like we're going to lose before we ever get anybody over there. I can try. Uh, we'll take one, send them over there, and take one of these guys, send them over there too. I'm back, maybe we'll just send both of the Blue Army Divisions over there. But I don't think we'll get there in time. Yeah, I think we'll probably lose before we're able to, uh, to get over there. Winning here now, but losing here. Yeah, just losing all across the front at this point. Unfortunately. Iceland is capitulated, so the British have conquered Iceland. Uh, over here, I would really like to win there, man. I'm, I'm going to try it. I know that this is obviously not the best time to attack. You know what? Let's not. Let's not waste any manpower equipment. I don't think that'd be wise. Uh, one thing we can do now, though, is get the spirit of the army. So there's some fantastic choices here. Uh, just kind of show you some of the ones we're not going to get. Uh, this would help for the land doctrine costs, army experience gain, uh, proper heritage. Yeah, that doesn't really give us that many bonuses. The supply combat penalties on core territory would be helpful, I suppose. Uh, ideological loyalty, that's not really help out that much either. This is another one that wouldn't really help out all that much. So these are the two that I'm I'm thinking about, and I'm probably going to go with this one here, but this one would be fantastic as well, and might be one that we want to switch to later if we had the spare experience. Uh, increases entrenchment speed, which would be very helpful in defense. Railway gun bombardment is a plus 5%, so that's really helpful. Uh, I think that's how you get to that 15%. Uh, the engineer company unit design costs uh, is helpful. Uh, engineer trait experience gain, though, that would be nice to have. And so, yeah, I think that this is a fantastic choice. However, this one will likely be more useful for us 
right now because you get this negative 100% on you know the tank motorized and mechanized uh, design cost. So when we design our, our units. And so yeah, I think that would be really helpful to have. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get this one. It also gives the experience gain from combat. And so I think this would be helpful early on here. Uh, and then maybe a little bit later we wanna switch over to that one where you could really use those, those benefits. I mean, yeah, we'll get this one for now. And then the next thing would be using the 75 experience here. We also still need the land doctrines, of course. Uh, I don't think we're gonna hold on to that, guys. So let's just go ahead and stop the fortification here, which clearly is never gonna be done. And then over here, I mean, we could have tried to keep control of that, but I think we're gonna have to retreat, uh, just give up on this. Uh, it's frankly not going to work. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do is just completely delete this here and just rebuild it, the fallback line, into the mountains is what I'm thinking here. So you can have this army here. I guess you'd want it like going through the mountains here and then wrapping around like so. That might be too wide, honestly, uh, for this red army since they're not very good as we, we well know. Maybe we should just have them um, I mean, that's the linchpin. You have to defend that one well. Uh, this one here is not as big of a deal, so we'll go back like this. And then hope that these guys are able to cover this. But yeah, I think we're just going to have to re fully retreat at this point. It's unfortunate, but I think uh, necessary. Because otherwise, you're not going to win here. Is this a mountain province? This is just a hill province, so we'd just give that one up, most likely. Yeah, and then retreat over to this way. We'll keep defending until we get all the troops out, though. Uh, also, the railway guns probably going to need to retreat now as well. So let's go ahead and retreat them over to... Jeez, I guess right here. But then you're not getting the bonuses up there. So that's sort of a problem. I suppose you can move them this way, but... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to put them here. We want to keep them off the front line so he doesn't get cut off and destroyed. We keep on fighting here as long as we can because uh, we have the fort bonuses and, and mountain bonuses and all that kind of good stuff. So might as well get you know utilize those while we can. Uh, we did end up losing here. God damn it! How they how did they win? Just reinforcement. Like none of these guys are reinforcing fast enough. That has been such a massive issue for us. Uh, you know in this this campaign, like major issues with reinforcement. Uh, also, we didn't get the winter. We don't have the winter bonuses just yet. So that's applying too. All right. So what we're gonna do is go and send both of these guys over here. You know what? Send them across the river to stop them from advancing here. And then I'm take two of these to send them over that way. Also, the purple army has actually pulled back. Okay, so that's caused problems as well. Okay, so yeah, we'll go and make sure they stay here. I don't know what they're doing. And uh, we're gonna attempt an attack here. Oh, we can't attack from that province. Okay, I didn't realize that. So you have to have them all here if you wanted to assist. We'll see if the tank can win on the three tanks can win on their own. Looks like that's a maybe. Yeah, that's a maybe. So I bring them all over to here. Still winning all up along the defenses here. All right, so these guys just need to get to get on the retreat. We'll go ahead and tell them to retreat now. Just get out of there. Just get out of there, men. All right, so then we'll we'll get all these troops set up along this border here soon. So we can start uh, entrenching. Did we ever fix the situation here? Yeah, we got divisions there, but then this one here is about to lose, so we got to send another division over there to ensure that we don't. Just kind of flip-flopping the divisions around, trying not to lose here. Uh, we did sink a German submarine that has wandered into our zone here. That's like the one zone that we've controlled for almost the entire war here. Yeah, despite the look, there's not enough snow on the ground here for us to get any of the, the bonuses from the winter, with the exception of, and that might be, yeah, that's the only one I, I've seen so far. We got these ones down here. Uh, but yeah, just not far enough in winter yet to get those bonuses. Some more troops over here. They are attacking here. Okay, so that's the reason why we're having some trouble with the, let's just stop it then so we don't have trouble with reinforcement. 
we're able to get troops over to this here to save it. Excellent. I wasn't sure if we would or not. I'm sure we're killing a ton of troops over here. Yeah, I bet we're killing a, a very large number of troops. And they're attacking across rivers into entrenched positions. Even if they're not fortified, they're entrenched. So yeah, this is likely causing them some trouble. Uh, currently still working on the fortification there and still trying to get these done here. Those are for resources and then military factories after that. Uh, so I think we'll want to go ahead and get the forts going in certain areas. Still building there, we'll keep that going. But not, might need to fortify up here in any area that isn't the mountains. These are mountains, so I'm not too worried about them. Might need to fortify up along here, though, whenever they're not attacking. So let's go ahead and do that. Get us up to level 2, since that's a, a key area of our defense. Also, if we lose this here, then this would be a problem, so we need this one as well. As of right now, we're still holding on to it, at least temporarily. Not sure where he's going. He's coming over to that province. Let's put him where he's needed most right now and put him over there. Uh, we did lose here. All right, so that's not good. Um, and again, it's, it looks like a reinforcement issue. One division, one there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's unfortunate. All those guys are retreating, and I don't know if there's anything I can do about it because you, you retreat a division from here, and then you're going to lose that as well. We might be able to get somebody over there from here in time. 21 hours. And then these guys never actually were defeated, so they can go right back. And yeah, just go and take some of these guys going to go back to the front with some of the weaker ones maybe coming over this way instead. Although the blue army is not supposed to hold this area. I thought that the green army could do it on the lonesome here. That has not been the case, though. Let's try and get some of the stronger divisions coming over that way. Again, just trying to hold on to that while we can. Uh, let's take a look, see what we've done over here. We lost a submarine. That's what we did. Uh, the Italian fleet still kind of dominating over here. We bomb a little bit, but just not enough uh, naval bombers, I think, to really be effective. Still no naval invasions, though, so that's been good. Set to lose here, but we got a ton of divisions in this province. Uh, so I think what's what's going on here, some of them need to retreat over to there. Same thing here. Yeah, some of them just need to retreat over to that location. Um, so let's just take a few of them and get them retreating now. Because, yeah, this is a stupid number of divisions here. All right, so, yeah, just try and retreat a few of these. Make sure we don't lose there. Winning here still. Winning here as well. And uh, winning all across these. Um, okay, so it looks like they have taken all this here, as expected. As far as like uh, changing up the, the front line here, we, we already know we want to give that one up. And so I think what we're going to do is have the yellow army go back a bit. And then take some of those uh, mountain troops that are retreating here and get them coming onto a front right here. So for right now, yeah, we'll put them like that. And so they should be retreating over to this location. Make sure we hold on to that. And these guys are coming up over this way. Let's make sure that... I feel like you just got to double up on all this. And the green army. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to work out. Yeah, just outnumbered across the front, as you see, and just having difficulties everywhere. Uh, but, you know, we are in winter, and so the north will be much more difficult for the enemy to advance. And overall, we've been doing a pretty good job holding the line and uh, killing Germans. With the exception of this area, of course, where we lost a ton of territory. We lost all this here. So obviously we lost quite a bit of territory there. Alright, so they're attacking in the mountains now. I don't expect that will go very well for them. Uh, still holding on to here. We'll keep fighting there, I suppose. Uh, but it does look like we're, we are about to lose this location. Just because they're attacking with so many divisions. Uh, Liberia joined the Allies. Okay, so that won't have much of an effect. Uh, we, we sunk a... German submarine there. All right, excellent. 
And uh, no movement really in, in Sweden, and I think that the, the winter there has really shut them down. Greeks lost a big chunk of their fleet here. Uh, light cruiser and three destroyers, you know, they don't have a huge fleet. Yeah, we're just not really sinking anything in these battles. Yeah, they're attacking all across the front now. And again, they defeat us, they defeat one division, and we just can't reinforce fast enough. Yeah, that's been a serious issue. This is planes. And so there should have been two divisions in that fight. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. We need to look at, at this situation. It's really strange. Like, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, like, why that's happening that way. I'll throw this attack into here. Man, I'm not entirely sure how they beat... Like, how do they force us to retreat? Like, there should have been two divisions defending this province. Even for these larger divisions. But there should have been two of them. So how do they defeat all three of them by only defeating one? I'm not entirely sure. Now, I did forget to go ahead and get these traits for our, our generals and our field marshals. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so he could actually increase the attack. Has our field marshal gotten to, to level four now? Is that what we want to do, though? Reinforce rate has been a huge issue for us on the defense. And so, you know, I feel like the reinforce rate might be the better option to go. I almost always go about charismatic division recovery rate. But I think we might want to actually go with the reinforce rate in this particular instance. Because we have had so many issues. Uh, we also have a bunch of generals that have traits but might not necessarily have anything to get here. That's the way it appears. Got another infantry expert we can get. There we go. Beautiful. So that's the uh, the purple army up here. A Boris of the yellow army here also has the infantry expert he can get. So almost all of our guys now have infantry experts. That's fantastic. So I think that's everybody here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody else that has any traits to get. All right, fantastic. I don't know if I checked the field marshal. I didn't. Uh, so this field marshal also can get a trait. And in this case, I think we will go with the division recovery rate because they're a offensive army. So I think that's a little bit more useful. Reinforce rate obviously is uh, useful as well for offensive, but you don't reinforce on the offensive and then, you know, you lose a battle you could have won, but you don't lose a province. So that's the, the key there. I'm not entirely sure why we don't have all the divisions coming over here. Are we set to defend this? No? I'm not entirely sure why they're not coming over here then. Yeah, they just keep launching these attacks. Unsuccessful attacks. I should be keeping my eye on the situation down here since we're, we're doing fine in the north. Alright, so now we're going to try and get all these divisions moved over to here. Uh, this guy's almost over there now. Uh, this is going to be a felt attack, of course. But we were able to get there in time. Alright, so we can go ahead and stop the attack now. And so, yeah, we need to see what's going on. Like, are they just not reinforcing quick enough? So, as of right now, you have two divisions on the front. And so they should have to defeat both of those before they're able to win there. I'm not sure why that wasn't the case. Uh, they're stacking all across here with no success as of, as of yet. And uh, they are winning here as well. But we're going to keep that going, holding on to that for as long as possible while we get these troops further entrenched here. Try and get more divisions up onto this front here. I'm not sure why they everybody's leaving here to move over to these other parts rather than defending this one. I feel like we don't have enough to, to defend that right now. Uh, back in the sea. Let's see what happened over here. Uh, it looks like the, the Swedes lost two convoys. So we don't control this area anymore, unfortunately. Uh, and then we also sunk an Italian convoy. All right, fantastic. So yeah, just try and hold on to this. Just had so many difficulties in this area. Just barely holding on. And then here as well, not liking how this has gone. We're, we just retreated. And so what we need to do now is take these guys and put them onto, back onto this front here. And uh, I'm not sure we're going to send him just yet. We retreated here. Let's just keep these guys here. All right, so we'll move him over there, and this is what we'll do. Again, just having to micromanage the front a bit. All right, so we'll have those two go over to that province, since that's now going to be the uh, front line. All right. So 
So we're in the mountains now, and this is key to our defense. We do have the snowing and snow bonuses, so it's going to make it very difficult for them to advance here. This is likely the only place where we'll get any winter, winter bonuses. Oh, good down. <laughs> Can't stop these attacks here. Because while, while we're winning now, once they get the rest of the troops onto the front, we'll be losing again. So you want to have your troops spending this time. You want to have them uh, entrenching. All right, so green all up along here for the first time in a while. Remember, we do not have any planes in the sky right now. All the planes, even the ones that we had down there, have been pulled back. They were able to uh, win up along here. All right, so that's unfortunate. So we're going to have to push forward again here. And uh, I don't really want to defend any of this because I think we're going to pull, or I think we should be able to win here. Yeah, they were able to get across the river there, because remember, we weren't getting the uh, the bonuses from the snow. But now, of course, there's a snowing bonus there. Uh, still attacking all across here. Uh, let's go ahead and send one of these units here to defend that one. Maybe send one more, too. Oh, okay, I see. We actually do need to have units going over here, because we're set to lose that location. Alright, so just having difficulties across the front despite the winter. And I guess part of that's because we're not getting the winter bonus everywhere, but this I'm not sure how it will end up going here. Send another tank into it. I really want to win here if we can, uh, because remember we're losing there as well. So we're going to have to push him back up on this province too. Can we get units over here in time to stop them? I guess is the question. Uh, when do they get there? Nine hours? I don't think so, guys. I don't think anybody will get there in time. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and bring... There's so many fronts here. It's hard to see exactly which one's which. Uh, bring this army over here so we can continue our attacks. We'll let them all go up there, except for one. So we can try and attack this location. Okay, we didn't get there in time. Alright, so let's go and stop this here. Increase these guys like so. And then we'll attempt to attack there as soon as we're done with this defense. I mean, it looks like we're winning anyways. Though we should probably focus... I mean, if anybody's attacking is, and is weak, then we're going to want to pull them back. Like this guy here. Alright, so we'll try and do an attack there, just get back to this location. Looks like we should be able to get there. All right, so we're doing all right over here. Just requires our personal attention in some of these places. Now you see another red there that we're gonna need to, to go take a look at. Another battle here where we lost ships without sinking any. Uh, the British lost one light cruiser and nine destroyers while we lost a submarine. Good news is that the British are very close to taking Cairo. So they were able to advance up along here and they're doing great. And I think that'll be huge for us once the British get control of Egypt again. Yeah, that'll be big for us. Uh, so now we're losing in this province, another province that we've had difficulty holding on to in the past. Winning in these two locations. Uh, let's go and send this guy over here. And I don't know if that'll be enough to hold it or not. We'll have to see. And we're gonna take this guy and bring him over here. Since so we're winning all up along here. Um, how do we want to do this? So the yellow army's covering that there. I feel like they could cover more. So let's actually have them cover that province as well. And then we got the green army covering all this here. And it looks like we're just barely holding on there. Yeah, we're just barely holding on to a lot of this territory here. Yeah, we gotta keep them here. All right, so we'll just see if we can't keep that going there. But they are just really thrown into that us now. Again, they're, they're probably taking massive casualties in order to do this. I mean, this has got to be costly for them. Now, we did get that division there, but I don't know if it's in time or not, if he can reinforce. But yeah, they, they've got to be taking huge, huge casualties. Except that non-aggression pact. In these attacks. Uh, lost another submarine. British lost seven destroyers. Only sunk a convoy in the process. Uh, and just make sure there's no naval invasions that are happening over here. No. But these are all troop convoys, by the way. Italian troop convoys that we're sinking. So that's more casualties being done in the sea. Yeah, these are all troop convoys. 
Uh, I don't know if they're retreating from Egypt right now or if they're trying to send more divisions into it. It's hard to say. Uh, either could be the case. All right, so just barely holding on there. Let's go ahead and do this attack here now. Okay, that's not going to work. We're going to have to wait until they retreat a bit. Holding out everywhere else, though. Yeah, doing fine along the rest of this front here. For now, anyways. Again, the winter is where they're just going to take huge casualties. Now, don't have to hold on to this province, which we just lost. Hmm. But yeah, I don't want them in that mountain province. I'm surprised they finally got a win there. Is anybody still going over there? It almost looks like there's nobody coming over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take... I mean, do we have anybody <laughs> that we can take? Everybody is such low organization at this moment. I'm going to take this guy, throw him there, and he'll go over this one. Yeah, just try and hold on to that if we can. We got another division coming over there from here. And let's see what happened here. Yeah, did a little bit of damage to those Italian submarines, but didn't sink them. Uh, did sink another Italian cowboy, though. Fantastic. Yeah, they're doing great on pushing into Egypt. So I'm really happy to see that uh, the British are having some success there. Mongolians still attacking here unsuccessfully. So it looks like these divisions here aren't leaving now. So that's a problem. Can't let them do that. So we're going to have to do an attack here. And as soon as we launch that attack, they attacked us right back. All right, we're holding on to the rest of these. This does look like it will be a success. So keep it going. And uh, we did sink another Italian convoy as well. All right, fantastic. Uh, the Modify Officer Corps here, this is just about the Military High Command and Chief of Navy. We're not going to do that right now. Just because we have that 50 political power. Does look like we're going to lose there, so let's go and throw another vision into it. And it looks like we lost here as well. But they're not actually moving to that location. Surprisingly. All right, so we'll just put those guys over there. Well, now they're moving. I think they would beat us as well. We're, we're going to get there one day in three hours. Hard to say exactly when they're going to get here because they have so many troops moving in different locations here. So I can't tell when they're leaving. So I think we might go ahead and attack across here just to make sure that they uh, don't beat us to that province. Because uh, getting that back would be uh, very difficult. Now I'm seeing that, that they are attacking in Sweden surprisingly and having success despite the winter there. All right, uh, so we did get the new light tanks. We'll have to see if they have the experience to to do something with those. Uh, let's go and go after the armor first though. And we'll wait uh, until we get the engine done. I don't know if we'll actually use that, but it's only a week away, so we can wait for a second. I'm gonna attempt to advance into this undefended province here. Same thing over here, they're, they're not really as well defended as they should be here. And so if we can try and cut them off, even if they take that province, then yeah, they're in trouble. So yeah, we'll advance into any undefended territory, but yeah, you can see that they're currently pushing us back all along the front, and this is sheer lack of of troops here is the problem right now. Yeah, they don't have any uh, attrition, or uh, excuse me, they're taking attrition, a good chunk of attrition likely. I uh, can't see the exact number here. Trying to hover over it, but can't see the exact number. But yeah, they, they have supply issues. They're taking attrition. They don't have a lot of organization. And yet, they're still pushing forward here. Now, we don't have very many divisions here, so you know, we can't really help that much. But we'll try what we can. All right, so still trying to get the win there. Let's go and take another division and throw them into it. And yeah, just having to go slow here. Uh, because, yeah, they're, they're pushing us back in multiple areas. So, yeah, they, they pushed us back here. Uh, so we did lose that mountain province. That's pretty disastrous, actually. Um, let's just go ahead and stop everybody from their movement here. Oh, we also lost here. That one's huge. That's a big loss for us. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why they lost there, though. Because we were winning. But, yeah, I guess we're, we're not anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and change this up again. Uh, change up this front one more time. <laughs> It <laughs> seems like we're constantly having to, to make the adjustments here. And can't get this deleted. There we go. All right, so a big part of the problem here is this this army is so cruddy. Uh, it's it's not very good because we have so many of those uh, divisions from our allies or our puppets, and those divisions are, are pretty pretty uh, terrible, honestly. Uh, we're going to try and hold on to this. Oops. 
I have the front line gun. Uh, we're gonna try and hold on to this here. Not willing to give it up, though. I guess if you gave up that one, you get a river bonus here, but then you have more provinces you have to defend. So I guess that's the the problem. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just give it up since we're already retreating from there, anyways. And yeah, just trying to defend up along here, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be uh, a difficult fight, I think, because we do have such low low organization in this area. Alright, so I'm gonna send this guy over here. So they won't be able to attack immediately. And then with this army here, let's have them continuing to defend this area. And go ahead and stop these attacks, which clearly are not going to work. Uh, that one would work, but we're gonna go ahead and keep them here. On the defense. Just focus on defense. We don't need to be attacking in the mountains in the winter, even if we are set to win those those attacks. Uh, so, these guys get here in a matter of hours. Alright, excellent, so we're going to stop that attack. We'll let this guy get his organization up before we put him back on the front line. Uh, got several divisions coming over to this province. Hopefully, it'll be enough to hold on. This has been a rough January, man. Really rough January. Uh, the Mongolians called back their expeditionary forces. Okay, so... Hold up. I call back and return back to their own country soon. So I think we're going to lose all the troops that we have on this front here. Yeah, it looks like we'll likely lose. Not all of them. So what we might want to go ahead and do is again just kind of make another adjustment here. Throw these guys into this army here. Throw these into the green army here. Put them over this way. Like that. And then, yeah, I'd probably just get rid of this army. Put them on over here. And then, yeah, these Mongolian divisions, we'll keep using them while we can, but uh, it's going to cause some issues, I think. Uh, also, it looks like he has a new trait, though nothing to get. All right, so that's unfortunate. Nothing worse than you can upgrade your troops, but you don't have anything to, to actually give them. All right, so, yeah, just losing mountain provinces left and right. Again, I really thought we would hold them here in the mountains. I didn't think it'd be that big of an issue, uh, but I think that the big part of the problem is that we never got them fully entrenched and got their organization back up before they started launching these attacks against us. Might have been able to get a unit to that province in time. We'll see. Maybe we'll change the front up if that's the case. I don't want to give a mountain province up if we don't have to. Uh, so lost another damn submarine here. I'm going to keep them here, though, to keep the pressure on and keep sinking those convoys that are trying to go to Egypt, because I think this is, you know, we're helping out quite a bit, and uh, they might not be able to have a presence here as the British continue to take Egypt. Uh, they have uh, Cairo, and, and now they're going after Alexandria, and let's see if they can't push the Italians all the way back into Libya. In addition, they split off any troops that might be over here, and uh, we'll just see what happens with that if the British can start advancing that way. Uh, but this has been a big win for us. Uh, a win that we desperately needed as well. Uh, they already got somebody over here, so we weren't able to, to get the win there. Let me see if I can't win here. Nope. Alright, so we're in a really bad position in Sweden. And I'm just wondering if this is the best use of our troops. I mean, I know we're, we're causing casualties here. Yeah, I just wonder if like we wouldn't be better off using the troops elsewhere. I mean, I guess we're going to lose a lot of these divisions because those are Mongolian divisions that we have over there, I think. Still have not won here yet. And that's unfortunate. We're going to keep on trying to get this province back. So we'll have that river bonus. Holding on here. Uh, retreated here, surprisingly. Again, it's just reinforcement. Uh, we're just not reinforcing fast enough. And uh, worst thing here is that we don't have any defensive troops set up to ensure that we don't lose that province when our offensive units get pushed back. But I don't really want to increase this front anymore. Nor the purple army front. I guess we'll have to increase the purple army front. Like so, just to get some, some units coming over here. Now let's bring this guy and have him go over there. After he's done retreating, of course. We'll try and get back. Go back immediately so they're not able to get there. Or at least not without having to fight us. Okay, it looks like they didn't come anyway. Alright, so it's kind of irrelevant. 
All right, so making lots of adjustments up along this front here. Need to make sure the railway guns are helping as much as they can be. Uh, so they're helping out here. I'd love to get some assistance here. So we'd have to move the railway gun, which then mean, means we wouldn't be, get, be able to get the assistance there. They're helping in that one. It's just this attack here. Where we're not getting any assistance from the railway guns. Don't we have a railway gun built? No, not yet. It's sometime in January. I think it's pretty soon then. 28th, maybe? Perhaps. That's a possibility. Uh, again, we're having to, to stop these attacks over here. Yeah, I don't want to attack there. We weren't able, able to get there in time. Not exactly surprising, but still unfortunate. And yeah, I don't want to increase the Green Army front any further because they're having enough issues as it is. Yeah, it's just uh, it's a difficult front here, guys. All right, so we we'll see if we can't help out that way with this army here. Bring them down. Make sure we don't lose this location. I'm not entirely sure where they won't just stay. Oh, because they're, they're saying that we need more divisions over this way. All right, so just trying to hold on to all this here. We can't lose any of it anymore. Uh, we're at the back end of the mountains here. So we really can't afford to lose any more provinces. We have to hold on to what we have. Supply is a serious issue. Already getting all the uh, motorized supply here. Not really much to be done, I think, when it comes to supply. Not right now, anyways. And what do we have here? Lost another plane. Okay, just trying to bomb those troop convoys. Just trying to help them out. Again, I feel like it's worth it, though, uh, what we've been doing there. Uh, they forced a lot of divisions to retreat here, but we do have a tank here to stop them from actually taking the province. And yeah, just not able to grab this one province here just due to the sheer number of divisions they have in that province. I uh, did get the advanced engine, so we're going to work on our, our light tanks now. Do need to get all the techs here, uh, but the only thing we're getting for our tanks is the heavy howitzer. I think we're going to wait to get this. I mean, there's so many things to get, uh, but we're going to go after the engineer companies next. I think that'd be useful. Let's go and knock that out. I'm going to see what this is here. Sunk a, another Italian convoy. They still have not taken these Greek locations. Again, they just take one of these, and I think they force the Greeks to capitulate. Uh, but they've been completely unsuccessful and unable to take those. Uh, so that's only been a good thing for us. Uh, just barely holding on here. Do we want to send another division to help them? Looks like we're actually barely holding on here, so if we're going to send a division anywhere, we should send one there. Uh, same thing here. Let's go and just get another one going there, because it looks like we're about to lose. Did we ever get the forts built here? We did not. I think we are working on them, but yeah, I just didn't get them done, unfortunately. Let's go and send this guy here if he's going to go anywhere. All right, so I have a lot of divisions up along here. Remember, this is not just mountains. It's also a river bonus. That's going to be inc and the snow. So it'll be incredibly difficult for the advance here. I'm not too worried about that. It's up along here that I'm worried about, and, and mostly because of reinforcement. They're just not reinforcing fast enough there. Uh, Sunken Italian destroyer, we're now going to get a lot of assistance uh, from the British fleet now that Egypt has been taken. And uh, hopefully should start getting those Italian ships destroyed. Still sinking convoys as well. And they're just making rapid progress here. Really happy with uh, the British and their, their progress in Egypt so far. <sighs> yeah, just still can't get this cleared up here. I would do an attack, but yeah, attacking one division wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be all that helpful, I don't think. So we're just gonna have to sit on defense, but we gotta break through here again and get that location taken. Wow, look at this, guys. Uh, we lost a whole bunch of ships to the uh, to the Germans. I'm surprised that our fleet didn't come out to help. Yeah, why didn't they come out and help? They're either repairing or uh, they looked at it as being too risky because they're so vastly outnumbered. But we lost four destroyers and a submarine here. All right, so that's really unfortunate. Yeah, having some difficulty here, guys. Uh, I do got one submarine we can throw into one of these fleets here. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait. Uh, we've lost a, a ton of submarines, a ton of ships. Uh, just overall, we're, we've been having difficulty. Uh, these guys are going to have to go back and repair. We're going to go ahead and have... I mean, these guys are repairing too. We'll go ahead and have them go over that way. Uh, let's see how things are going here in Sweden. Uh, they weren't able to win there. That's surprising. I thought they would have gotten the win. And we just can't push them back because our troops are too too darn cruddy uh, in order to do that. All right, so yeah, they're still holding on here. But uh, Sweden has not been as good as I was hoping it would be. 
you know, with the winter coming. I thought we'd be in a much better situation than we are. I want to go in and try and attack with these three divisions here. Gotta wait till that defense is over. I don't know if they'll let it win. Probably not. We'll just attack with two. Yeah, that's not enough either to really do much. No, no point in even doing that. If it's it's such a low chance of success, means it's not even gonna last very long. Defending all throughout here. And yeah, just about to lose that location there, and I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about it either. I guess if you send this guy here and then take one of these divisions. Yeah, because I don't want to pull any further from that army there, because they don't even have the river bonus. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time, guys. Oh, maybe. Yeah, this guy might get there. Uh, we did get the signal companies. Excellent. Been wanting to add those to our divisions. We won't get the next one because, you know, there's really no point on getting that right now when we uh, don't even have those in our divisions just yet. So I think we should go ahead and go with this passive bonus, the 5% bonus to the defense and breakthrough. I think that'd be helpful. Since we're stuck on defense. Uh, I mean, it helps on a, the attack as well, though. See, I don't know that we're going to get there in time, guys. It sure doesn't look like it. So what if we sent... Yeah, we're just going to send one of these guys, the guy with the, the lowest entrenchment here. Yeah, I just don't think we're going to be able to get the win there. As yeah, so we might end up losing that location. And that will have to change the entire position here. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I, I feel like this has been the major issue here, guys. Is they, they will only leave one division here, since they can only be attacked from one province. And the one division can't hold it himself. Uh, not fall back. We'll do... I guess we'll do a front line, but... A lot of divisions up along this front. But remember, we lose all the Mongolian ones. We are not losing across here, but losing here now. Again, this is, is a key province for us to hold on to, so we're going to have to pull a division and bring them down there so we don't lose. Is Yeah, we are getting the uh, railway bonus here. Do we have that railway gun done? We do. All right, fantastic. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send... Because we have this guy here. I almost want to send him there. Yeah, I think we're going to send him over to this area here. So that we can try and use it to push forward here where we're not getting... I mean, we're getting bonuses in almost all these. But remember, we can then pull this one down a bit, I suppose. Although I'm not entirely sure how he's getting a bonus. Where's the railway gun giving him a bonus? You know what? We're, they're probably getting the railway bonus. Yeah. As ours are not. Yeah, I was looking at that wrong. We might not even be getting that one either. Uh, looks like that is... Yes, we are getting the railway bonus here. But this one here is their railway gun bombardment. So yeah, we'll bring our own railway gun down there to help us out. So let me see if any of these troops are done training. We do have some troops done training. All right, fantastic. Um, well... Do we want to send any to Sweden? <laughs> I guess we'll take two of them and send them to Sweden because we're going to lose all those divisions soon. So let's go ahead and take these guys here and they're going to need to replace the Mongolian divisions here that we're about to lose. And then these last two here, I guess we can try sending them to Sweden. They might get sunk going across here. That's a real risk. But yeah, I really don't want to lose here because think about all the troops that are being, uh, you know, distracted over here. This is what we'll do. We'll wait to figure out where I'm going to send those. Because I'm not entirely sure just yet. We'll see where we need them. And also, I don't want all the troops traveling at the same time across the water here. Now, we did block this off. Uh, but remember, we don't control this here either. Uh, we did sink a, a German submarine, but yeah, we don't really control there. I mean, it's green, so technically we control it, but... I, I want to know why this fleet never assisted. Like, were they just on... They're at medium risk. Yeah, I guess they just saw that as a high-risk situation, likely because they've been facing a lot of uh, capital ships. And so, yeah, they didn't help us there because of that. All right, so this is the main issue right now, where we're looking at a loss. Got divisions going over there to reinforce. Holding out here now. Fantastic, so that's back in the green. That's what we want to see. All right, so yeah, this is looking good. Um, up along here, they're not able to push forward at all from what I'm seeing. How about over here? They're actually winning there, surprisingly. 
Uh, let's go ahead and throw an attack into here now again. And they they actually did win there, and they won here, so they're getting across the river. So yeah, despite the uh, the winter, there's not enough snow here for us to get a bonus, so it's almost like there is no winter, essentially. Because yeah, you're really not getting much of a benefit from it, or any benefit, in that matter. Yeah, they get there in one hour, so they will get there. So that's unfortunate. Let's just have this guy stay here for defensive purposes. We'll see if we can't get across there. We did lose here as well. We're pretty much losing all across the front at this point. Yeah, they're uh, having success, and the winter has not saved us at all. I thought the winter would give us a bit of a respite, but unfortunately it has not. So we gotta get these locations back again. Got troops coming over here. Uh, this guy's just gonna have to go here, and then we'll reinforce with this one instead. All right, and they're all going elsewhere. All right, let's send another guy. Eh, yeah, I don't want him to take that from us. Yeah, just barely holding on throughout the front in the north now. Maybe I'm focusing too much on the southern front. And they did take those divisions from us. All right, so we expected that, so it won't be surprising. Uh, doesn't mean they won't keep the divisions here. They could end up staying here and assisting. We'll just have to see. Uh, but I just want to make sure we had some divisions defending all this. Yeah, this is all fine. And so, over here... Yeah, we lost control of those divisions over here. We still hold that. Yeah, lost a few, uh, few divisions there, unfortunately. Now, luckily we weren't using them anywhere that's really important. Yeah, we just can't win there. Yeah, I guess we'll have to stay here. Uh, just far too many divisions, apparently. Uh, and not having the railway bonus, I think, is, is hurting us, too. So once he gets here, that should give us a little bit of an edge that we didn't have before. Uh, we are still winning here. Winning on all these defenses here as well. Fortunately, Zukov was just injured, so we lose all his benefits. That's a really bad time for him to get injured. I mean, any time's a bad time for your general to get injured, but... Then send a division over here. Yeah, just barely holding on all the front. I'm surprised um, that they've had so much success on their offensives. I think the problem here is we're not reinforcing quick enough. Might need to send them more divisions. Uh, here we're losing as well, so shoot. Hmm. You already got somebody going up there. You can send one more though. So that he can come over this way. And they're not attacking down here. So we're good to go on that front. See what happened over here. I uh, did sink another Italian destroyer. Fantastic. And uh, engaging more troop convoys there. It looks like the British have taken pretty much all of Egypt now. So now they're pushing both east and west. And they should be invading into Italian Libya. So that's fantastic news. So yeah, that'll be really helpful here on the Mediterranean. Uh, good news when we really need it because we haven't had a whole lot of good news. As far as our Air Force, which we've been letting sit back and, and try and replace some of their numbers... We're still doing pretty bad on the fighter numbers. 344 on the negative here, and we do not have a ton of planes. Uh, I think our total plane numbers, 1.8 thousand, guys. That's what we got on our Air Force. That's how bad it is. So yeah, not impressive <laughs> at all when it comes to our Air Force. Uh, we took severe casualties in those previous, uh, in some of the previous episodes, and so that's why we pulled them back. And uh, I think one reason why they're seeing a lot more success against us is because of the lack of even any contention in the skies and so that's been hurting us but we are holding on um i'm interested to see the casualties we'll take a look at that in a minute here let me see if there's anything else we want to do here uh looks like we should grab that province back so that's fantastic news but here we have had nothing but troubles trying to get that province back unfortunately uh, but let's see how many casualties we cause because that's the key here and it looks like a lot 2.3 million. So that is a significant jump, guys. In the last episode, we had done 1.6 million casualties to them. So just in this episode, we have done 700,000 casualties to the Germans. That is huge. Just absolutely massive. Uh, while our own casualties have increased quite a bit as well. 753,000 total, uh, 631,000 to the Germans. But yeah, that's an easy trade-off. I mean, look at the kill-death ratio, the difference now. That just shows you how well we've done in this episode. I know it looks like nothing but defeats. Uh, you know, we've lost 
tons of territory in this episode. You know, we lost all this here. Uh, so it looks like we've we've had a lot of defeats, but those those victories, those were Pyrrhic victories for the Germans. Those were so costly uh, th th that this is eventually going to cause their their defeat. I think uh, they can't possibly recover. I mean, three million casualties. How much more can they they take? I'm wondering. So we've done absolutely brilliant against the Germans. I'm very happy with that uh, that casualty number against the Italians. They have killed 41 yeah, 41,000 of our troops, while we have killed. Uh, 147,000. So even that has gone up by a bit. Against the Bulgarians, we killed 113,000. That's significant. Yeah, we've done a lot of casualties to, to them this episode. Uh, to 35,000 from them. But yeah, that's been a big jump here for Bulgaria. Uh, same thing with the, the Hungarians. That's a, a big jump too. 183,000 casualties against them. While well, they have done 44,000 to us. So the casualties are insane. 4.59 million total for the Axis. Uh, that's that's a lot of casualties, guys. I don't know how much more they can take. Like the the Soviets, you'll see them take 8, 10, 12 million casualties and still be pumping troops out. Uh, but the Germans, I don't see how they're going to be able to produce, you know, continue to uh, to have manpower and stuff. Uh, I, I mean, they, they went down that one branch of their, their doctrine, so maybe. Uh, but I think they're going to start running at manpower soon. I suppose we can take a look at that. Let's go and look at that real quick, uh, how they're doing... Uh, planes, only 4.6 thousand here. So it looks like they're taking losses in the skies too, probably, obviously not to us. Though I guess our anti-air shot a few of them down. Uh, but most of those are probably to the British. Yeah, you can see that they are fighting the British here in the, uh, the channel. And also maybe in northern France. I assume the British are bombing them. Yeah. So yeah, they're likely taking a lot of casualties, uh, losing a lot of planes to the British. Because I think that's a lower number than they had. And also to our anti-air, uh, they'll be losing some to AA as well. Take a look at their ships. They only have 74 remaining. Uh, last time I looked at it, I think it was 89. So they lost ships as well. Uh, divisions, I think that's around the number they had before. Maybe 289 or something, I think, is the last number I saw. So they might have lost a division in the sea. Or perhaps even more than that if uh, they also were building divisions. But manpower, that's their deployed manpower. We want to look at their total manpower. Uh, still really high. 1.31 million, uh, but they are on total mobilization and extensive conscription here. So the total mobilization, that'll hit their recruitable manpower unless they, they do the uh, women in the workforce. Uh, but yeah, that is really helping them out factory-wise. But extensive conscription means they still have plenty of manpower to tap into, unfortunately. They're putting a lot of factories into their planes at this moment. Not, not surprising, of course. Uh, not as many into tanks, though. Uh, 140 into the, the rest of the equipment. Uh, they currently have 192 military factories. So compared to ours, uh, a lot more. A lot more military factories. A lot more civilian factories as well. And, uh, of course, way more dockyards. They actually have a significant significant number of dockyards for Germany. Uh, a lot of those they took, of course, from, from other countries. Uh, but that's a good number. But yeah, they're not running out of manpower anytime soon. Or fuel. Or convoys. And trucks, that's kind of a low number. Trains, too, I guess. But... Yeah, overall, we still got a long fight ahead of us, guys. I guess we can take a look at the Italians real quick, see if they're about to buckle at all when it comes to manpower or anything. Still a lot, 300,000, but they are on service by requirement, so that's good. On total mobilization as well. And of course, they do not have the, the number of factories that either we or Germany have. A lot of trucks, though. Look at all those trucks. Not very many trains. Uh, a little bit short on fuel there, and convoys. But yeah, they're, they're looking much worse than the Germans, obviously. But even they are still doing pretty decent considering the casualties that, that we've done. I, I suppose we haven't really done a whole lot of casualties to the Italians. Uh, but yeah, a lot of green here. That's what we want to see. Uh, definitely some red. <laughs> and it uh, looks like we're going to have to pull back in this area. Not surprising. We've already kind of started building up for that. Uh, started to get these uh, forts built up here. I think we will have to retreat from this location, guys. Yeah, we're probably going to have to retreat from this. And even from this one as well. We might be able to defend this one. I don't know, though. Probably not. We'll probably have to retreat over to Istanbul, build some fortifications there. And, uh, yeah, bring some of the troops over here while the rest of them will defend up along here. Uh, and I expected retreat, and we've actually have been holding on for a lot longer than expected. But we've got to hold on to this province here. Uh, that's a huge one that we can't lose. Uh, so we're going to try and uh, make sure that we have plenty of troops over there. And then, yeah, we might go ahead and start getting troops entrenching up along this frontier. 
in plans for uh, retreating. Uh, over here, still doing pretty good. I don't think they're going to break through here, guys. I feel pretty good, at least in the winter. I don't think they'll break through. Uh, but here has been a problem as they've launched those offensives. So we'll see what we can do in the next episode. Just kind of glide across the planet here as we end this one. See that the Japanese have felled that first invasion here in North Borneo. Uh, but looks like they, they succeeded in one here. Still uh, fighting the Chinese along the same fronts that they were before. In fact, the Japanese looks like they've made some progress a little bit. Maybe lost a few provinces there, but yeah, not a whole lot of movement between the, the Japanese and the Chinese in, in their war. And then, of course, Africa does look like the, uh, the Germans are still holding out in this area. where They even have a port there supplying, but for the most part, it looks like they should be defeated there. And, of course, the uh, British are uh, advancing in North Africa. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys in the next one where we should be going into spring. And we'll take a look and see if our Air Force is finally ready to go back into the skies. Uh, but yeah, hope to see you on that video, and uh, thanks for watching.